Now let's uh, try to look at uh, these various uh, financial uh, statement which uh, help us in performing thorough business analysis. So the first of the ones uh, I would like to look out is uh, the balance sheet. I'll talk about uh, what these are or it is even called as the statement of financial position. Of a company every company has to publish this then we have an income statement sometimes people call it as profit and loss statement or even the more uh, a popular term to it is statement of comprehensive income Then we also have to look out for another important statement which is a cash flow statement otherwise called as uh, the statement of cash flows the other way of looking at that same statement or even, even we can uh, look at there are few other uh, statements like statement of owner's equity we find uh, various uh, other information which can very well be used to assess the final uh, performance of the business but the first three are the core financial statements of course uh, we would be uh, using various other information along with these uh, financial statements to assess the financial health of a company to assess uh, the business uh, uh, analysis relating to the credit or equity analysis or any of these things associated with a company and uh, as we said uh, uh, we, I will take out uh, one particular company's uh, data probably for understanding all these things I am taking the data relying, Reliance Industries Limited which is one of the top-notch uh, companies in uh, India uh, and is listed uh, on uh, Bombay Stock Exchange and National Stock Exchange and various other exchanges uh, also across the world. Now, looking at uh, the financial statements of this Reliance Industries, you can get them from the website of the companies right so this is a detailed annual report of that company almost a 228 pages uh, report and if we see uh, there is a, a section on financial statements so that is where it starts with this independent auditors report will uh, We'll discuss about these reports slightly later. So there is an independent auditor's report. And uh, we could see some annexures to this independent auditor's report. We'll see what are there. But when you look at the complete annual report of a company, wherein uh, under the financial statement section, you can see the independent auditor's report and the annexures to it. And this is the balance sheet balance sheet as on 31st March 2013 so what is it uh, uh, what is it written as balance sheet as on 31st March 2013 this is a typical way of writing the balance sheet as on a particular day typically the year end and when we talk about uh, the balance sheet typically it gives it contains something like uh, equity and liabilities we'll talk about uh, them in detail but otherwise it contains this section of uh, equity and liabilities and a separate section for assets logically uh, speaking assets are something which are owned by the company and liabilities are something which are owed by the company 
to someone else as on 31st March 2013. As on 31st March 2013, the list of all these assets is something which the company owns and the liabilities and uh, liabilities is something which the company owes to someone else and uh, the owner's uh, equity liability and equity equity is what the owners of the company own so liabilities is uh, what the company owes to someone else assets are what the company owns and equity is what is the contribution of the owners of the company so these are the three important information that is conveyed as a part of uh, the balance sheet but it has to be denoted as of a particular point in time itself as on 31st march 2013 as on 31st march 2012 so that is how uh, generally at the end of the financial year is what it is prepared but it can very well be prepared even on a, at the end of a quarter all, also right and this is one important uh, financial statement we'll discuss about uh, the detailed components of this uh, what each of these items mean and all but just to get a quick overview every company will have a, such a kind of a balance sheet and let me tell you the presentation right is more or less constant across the companies now when we say assets they will contain fixed assets tangible assets intangible assets capital work in progress they contain exactly in the same manner the numbers might differ and couple of them uh, might be uh, might not be applicable couple of them uh, one or two extra might come up but to a large extent you will find consistency in the presentation as far as uh, uh, any of these financial statements are concerned their meanings uh, remain more stable across the companies so uh, probably uh, if you understand the terminology in one of them it's easier to compare the financial statements of any company then the next one is the statement of profit and loss or profit and loss statement and uh, otherwise called as uh, income statement or statement of comprehensive income this is prepared for the whole year this is not at the end of the year but uh, when i talk about the income statement it is uh, providing a, uh, it is providing a valuable information regarding the income the revenues as well as the expenditure these are the two major headers you will see the income as well as uh, the expenditure of a company during a particular year so probably this is prepared for the whole year or for the whole quarter whatever are the various uh, uh, amounts that the company has received various revenues the company had received and various expenses uh, of the company they are all tabulated and uh, the final revenues minus expenses or income minus uh, expenses is finally uh, resulting in computing the profit for the year so that is uh, another important uh, dimension that is presented as a part of uh, income statement then the third important financial so the outcome of the profit uh, income statement is the profit for the year and the third one we are looking at is the cash flow statement that is also published again that is also for the entire year or entire quarter when we say balance sheet it is at a particular point in time but when we are talking about income statement and the cash flow statement they are typically for the year and the key elements that are present okay how are the how is the cash moving with respect to the operating activities so the activities of the company when we talk about the cash flow statement it breaks down the activities of the company as 
operating, investing, and uh, financing. So, how has been the cash utilized for operations activities? How did the company utilize the cash for investment activities? And how is the cash used for the financing activities? So, there is a, a detailed breakup with respect to operating activities of the company. Then the investment activities, we will talk about each and everything and the financing activities. So, that is uh, one more thing that is mentioned as a part of the financial statement. So, we have to understand that there are uh, three major financial uh, statements, the numbers uh, using which we would try to make lots and lots of business analysis as we move further. So, these are the various uh, financial uh, statements associated. Along with that, they give some important uh, information regarding the significant accounting policies. We will discuss about that in this uh, session also. The various uh, accounting policies that are uh, being used. Write a few pages on that. And whatever the each and every element of the balance sheet or the income statement Okay, this is one single line or probably cost of materials consumed. This is one single line item. But the details regarding it are presented in the notes. The notes on the financial statement, each and every entry that has been made in the balance sheet uh, or the income statement, whichever requires a detailed explanation for the same, is presented as a part of the notes on the financial statement. We see different kinds of notes associated for, uh, uh, for the various elements that are mentioned as a part of the financial statements there. So, you have to go through these notes to understand uh, in much more detail about the company. Along with that, you also see another set of balance sheet, income statement and uh, cash flow statement uh, for companies which have some subsidiaries which have acquired some other companies right any company which has acquired some other companies or which had a very big stake in some other companies what uh, they end up doing is they have to mandatorily uh, include two different financial statements one is standalone of that particular company's financial statements alone and two consolidated including the numbers of all those subsidiaries which they have acquired so all those uh, all those subsidiaries or uh, uh, all those subsidiaries uh, or uh, acquired companies uh, their individual financial statements they have to be consolidated as a part of this company's financial statement so that's where you'll see another set of auditor's report and a balance sheet consolidated balance sheet consolidated income statement consolidated cash flow statement and again, if there are any differences in the accounting policies, that would be identified and along with that, the notes. So, probably this is the, the, the combined balance sheet income statement of the company, whereas the first one which we have seen is purely of Reliance Industries. It does not uh, contain any of the uh, group companies or any of... Uh, the subsidiaries of uh, Reliance Industries. When I say the subsidiaries, probably you will see after this notes, they will identify which are all the companies which are their subsidiaries. You just uh, see there are so many companies which they have uh, highlighted as their subsidiary companies. You see the list? Reliance Industrial Investments, Reliance Ventures, Reliance Retail, Reliance Haryana, SEZ, Reliance Fresh, there are so many such companies which are floated as separate companies but which are controlled by this Reliance Industries itself. So, these are the subsidiary companies and their uh, details also, their consolidation, the consolidation of their financial statements also 
goes as a part of the financial statements uh, of uh, uh, Reliance Industries as a part of their consolidated financial statement. So these are the various uh, financial uh, statements. Of course, we have to go in detail to understand each one of them. But these are the various uh, financial statements that are typically published. So a detailed understanding of these various financial statements will provide lots of information uh, which can help us in various, uh, uh, various uh, decision-taking kind of aspects.